So, how much of your role did you know before? Like, because you know, you played such a crucial part throughout hmm. the entire season. Well, um, initially, David was very mysterious, and he said, "I think I have a role for you, Christabel." And then it was months before I. I learned anything about her, and then he just gave me just like morsels, like maddening, like so little. And then I signed an NDA, and he gave me a little bit more and a little bit more, and I really didn't know very much until I went to the Rancho Rosa office and was given a script of just my part. And at that point, I kind of like understood. <laughs> it started to sink in, and I was kind of like in a state of shock and. And amazement, and gratitude, and bewilderment, and just pretty indescribable feelings that I was having. Um, and really, nothing changed as it went on because it was always this melange of emotions and like cyclone of of feelings associated with the project because it's a secret, but so much is happening. But it's so exciting, but you have to keep it all in. But you're so tantalized because the secret is so juicy. Like all of these things, you're like, wow. And so the whole experience was quite extraordinary and unlike anything I've ever done before. And I feel like, as maddening as it was for it to be so mysterious, it was like so good that way. And when I, when everybody knew what was going on, it was almost like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we knew we had this moment that was so precious when it was just like you could, you could just explode from desire of wanting and longing to know and then when you did you were like oh and then you're you know there's a whole process afterward that you go through that's very precious too but yeah I was I was in it to win it for the whole ride <laughs> now how was it like because you know you, even though you had a lot of scenes there's still a lot that you weren't involved sure. did, did, and did you have like everyone all the other you know a bunch of the other actors are saying that they experienced it when it aired like we did oh yeah so like, oh, yeah. what was that like? You're like, wow, because you know, even though you, you, you did so much, there was so much other stuff going on. I mean, I think the characters in it, or the people who played the characters, were as much like in awe and surprised at everything that was going on as anyone else in the audience, because you get lost in the moment. Like, I would forget, I, and, and you don't know when your part is happening, you don't know how it fits in everything else, so you're just, you're just along for the ride and and then you see yourself and you're like, <gasps> like <gasps> and then you don't even quite digest it you have to think about it and think about it and watch it again and be like did this really wow okay 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 I start to understand things put things together but like I, yeah seeing it seeing it on the screen was was very very special did you film your scenes in like sequentially no my first scene was the interrogation scene with William Hastings. My first scene, it's my first acting job. So my first scene and my first acting job was the interrogation scene with William Hastings, which was very heightened emotions, right? And when David told me, I was like, huh, of course. Like, it was comically ridiculous how, like, I, of course that's the first scene because it has to be. Like, that's, that makes no sense. That's like terrifying, uh, and yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, as everyone should know, you're also a beautiful singer. Oh, thank you. How did uh? So you sang "Falling" the, the theme song. Yes. Is that something like, hey, I want to do this, or did David's like, hey? That was all me. That was me. When I I read this article in the Guardian called I think it was like "Make It Like the Wind," Angelo, and it was the story behind the theme song, and I had always thought that. It had come, the theme song had come, and then Julie Cruz's song was David putting lyrics to the, to, the, to, the, to the song. And then I found out it was actually the other way around, that Falling, Julie Cruz's version of Falling, was the inspiration for the theme song of Twin Peaks. And I had been very, very moved by the theme song, in particular when I was very young watching the show. So I was like, it was really an effort to pay homage to this composition that had been incredibly influential in my life and I was just I was gonna do it pretty casual like just do a straight-up cover like maybe with an acoustic I don't it know was a, it, was a production. it ended up being a production and it was like things just kind of kept escalating and then someone wanted to do a video and then 
this amazing producer wanted to produce the track and I was like, okay, this is out of my hands. I'm going to give myself over to it and and just and just be with it. And I was definitely pretty concerned <laughs> about how David would feel about it and and he's you know, he had he's very opinionated and and I was detaching myself from whatever he would feel about it, but I I I had such a uh, desire for him to, for it not to feel bad. You know, I wanted to feel good and I even played it for him first to make sure that it was okay that I wasn't stepping in sacred territory and that he wanted me to back off. I would I would have definitely heeded that, but he said that he liked it. And so I felt good about sharing it and I really loved the rendition and I think Julie Cruz is amazing and it was really about honoring the song and how significant it was in my life and everyone who was involved in making it and yeah. yeah. So people need to track that down if they haven't and sure. need to buy your album. Please do. Christabel.com, C-H-R-Y-S-T-A-B-E-L-L.com. All the music is there and yeah, check it out. <laughs> it's great talking to you. Great to talk to you too.